Hello friends, welcome to the first tutorial of coding using C language presented by me, Shirshendu Mitro, a research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. You can write me anytime to this mail ID, so I will be happy to help you. Today, I will teach you how to use C programming to do your coding. Now, uh, what is coding basically? Uh, in engineering and science, we encounter, with encounter several problems where we need to do complex calculations using using calculators and other gadgets it is not possible to calculate such a complicated problem so for this to solve this kind of things we use coding so in this preliminary preliminary tutorial i will teach you how to write how to print hello world using c language so to do that you need to have a com you need to have a compiler c compiler which i have already installed and that is dev c i open dev c just click on it yeah, it has opened now you can see the same kind of options as you see in several softwares now you go to file click on it then go to new and click on source file the a file has come now you have to write your coding so this is the script page where you have to do your coding so in uh, C language you have to define some header files and what does those header file mean header files mean uh, you call some files which are already uh, already there in the compiler in order to do your problems so the main header file we generally write we have to uh, call is hash include within bracket stdio.h stdio.h stands for standard input output file now i write something int main it signifies the main code and the main code you have to write within bracket and within second bracket today i will teach you just to write a hello world in c so to write something in c you have to write print f print f stands for print then within second code if I write hello world I give a semicolon to close the line and then I go to execute to run the program if I click on it I have several options out of this I click on compile and run it is asking for the location I choose my suitable location and uh, give a name to the file say hello world and save it yeah it has run and you can see the hello world has come this was a preliminary example of C but that is not the thing you have to do you have to do complicated problems using C language so now I will sh I'll show you how to use C to uh, to do a simple sum say a plus b equal to C I'll do it here suppose a equal to 10 B equal to 20 say C equal to A plus B so this is called definition or assigning lines that means I am assigning 10 to the variable A assigning 20 to the variable B and then I am calculate this is the execution line where I am doing the execution I am telling C that C equal to A plus B but before doing that you have to define your variables and all those things are integers that's why I define int int for integer I have taken three integers A comma B comma C so I define my variables at first then I put the values and this is the execution line but now I have to print it that is the value of C I want to print to do that I write percentage D percentage D is always stands for an integer I write percentage D comma outside the bracket comma the name of the integer I want to print here it is C so this program is done 
if I execute and do the compile and run you can see it is 30 but here suddenly 30 came so if I want to write something before 30 say the sum of variables a and b and if I run it again you can see the writing has come the sum of variables a and b is 30 if I want to write is here is will come ok now here you can see one thing I have already defined the values of the variables I have taken that is a is 10 b is 20 c would be obviously 30 but if I want to take those values from the user then I have to do something and that is you have to take it from the user by defining a variable that is scan f if I write scan f and then uh, within a bracket percentage d I have two variables so I write twice percentage d after the bracket comma ampersand a comma ampersand b that means this particular line means it will take the variable from user and then if I now I remove the values of a and b because I will take the value from the user now before this scan f I have to write print f because it will because I want to give some information to the user right by writing please insert values of a and b now if I run it now you can see it is asking for values a and b suppose I write 10 a space 20 enter so you can see the sum of variables a and b is 30 now we can do this thing many times now I want to get sum of a different set say 5 and 6 the sum would be 11 yeah it, it, it is shown 11 so this is a very simple program so you subscribe to my channel and I will be uploading programs on C complicated programs thank you very much